Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a, I guess, sort of a difference check for Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Episode 5. This is kind of one of the endings, but it splits off in a bunch of different endings. So if you go the route of empowering the Forge in Episode 3, at the end of Episode 5, you get the choice to revive somebody. Yay, let's pick one. So to kind of fill in some gaps here before we get into this, because people are going to have questions at the end of this, I guarantee it. So I'm going to hatch that away now. This only, like I said, this only happens if you empower the forge. In my original playthrough, I didn't empower the forge, so this whole scene doesn't even happen. The options you may have seen already, you get to see Drax, you get to see Peter, and you get to see Rocket. Rocket would revive Lila, Peter would revive his mom, Drax would revive his daughter. In my original playthrough, like I said, I didn't do this at all because I broke the forge way back when. In my alternate playthrough, where I was like, you know what, there's too many differences in episode 5 for me to do different difference checks. Here you go, I'm just gonna do the whole thing, which I have on the channel. I revive- I revive Drax. Now, one thing that people are gonna have a question about, which I wanna hash away right now, is what about Nebula? If Nebula's alive, aka you didn't have her side with the Guardians and you also spared her when she shows back up, later if she's on Hala's side, then she doesn't show up here. I'm- I- I'm pretty certain that she will show up here if she joins the Guardians and she dies protecting the Guardians. And she might even show up if you let her drop in Hollis place, I'm not sure either. But then you might get like a bad Nebula versus a good Nebula revival. Not sure about that, but I can almost guarantee you there's a Nebula revival. Now, Swing Point, why aren't you showing the Nebula revival in this video? Because... I tried to go back and redo it several different ways. One, I tried using the computer just to simulate it, and Telltale's engine won't let me do that for whatever reason, or Telltale's system, it won't let me just go ahead and simulate and say, hey, can I have this, have Nebula be on our side and then also die, and then also have the Forge empowered? It won't let me do that. So, thinking about you guys, I even went back and did it manually, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll just replay through episode 3, and then also replay through episode 5 just so you guys can see it, but the game keeps crashing on episode 3. I can't play it anymore for whatever reason. I don't understand why, so I can't show it to you guys. So you might have to look that up on your own. I apologize for that, but what we are going to do is look up what happens with Drax, which I'll show you at the end. We'll do Peter's mom right now, <laughs> and then we'll also show <laughs> Lila. So let's do Peter's mom right now. So let's, and it'll be really interesting to see these connections here. Another one you can do is let the forge die, but I'm guessing that's the same as my other ending, so who cares, right? Mom. I'd like to see my mom again. I'd really like to meet her. Let's do it, man. I'm really curious to see Lila, honestly. Take my hand. I want you to think of your fondest memory of your mother. The moment when you were the happiest. Pe some people said in the comments like it'd be weird to revive the mom because she wouldn't fit in with the guardians But I feel like the mom's way more badass than people may think <laughs> I feel like Peter gets it from her mama Where am I? Oh, mom It's uh, <laughs> it's me P Peter? Peter! <laughs> I, uh, I don't understand. You're here. Uh, I'm here. How is that even possible? I'll explain everything. I, I promise. Even the part where I died. Peter, <laughs> look at you. You're, you're so tall. I mean, you're, you're all grown up and what the hell are you wearing that jacket it's this is like ridiculous. the same exact thing in the other you ending look by like the way you're in a rock band this might come as a surprise but i'm a legendary space adventurer now you always did love outer space and indiana jones <laughs> so i guess you combined your passions I, I, I don't know where to begin. I, I missed so much, so many years. I, I'm sorry, Peter. I wish I could have been there for you. I, 
I didn't want to leave you. I wonder if she's still I sick. Think you had to grow up Let's all try this on one. your own. I well, it wasn't so terrible. I mean, I had Yandu after all. <laughs> so, that pirate actually held up his end of the bargain, huh? Hey, what's this bargain? Surprised. I hope he was a good role model for you. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I think you're gonna love it here. I'll show you around my spaceship. You can see the stars out of every window. We're... We're in outer space? Right now? Yeah. You, uh... You might need one of these. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh! Peter. Who are all these people staring at me? <laughs> They're my idiots. These people? They're my family. That's Gamora, Rocket, Groot, Drax, and Mantis. Hi. Nice to meet you, Star Lord's mom. Star Lord? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so? Like the character I made up about you for our bedtime stories? <laughs> Little Petey, the Star Lord, and his cosmic adventures? <laughs> Mother is embarrassing you with secrets from your childhood. <laughs> Little Petey! Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, this will never not be funny. <laughs> Knock it off. Little Petey doesn't like it. <laughs> I love tracks. Someone get this woman a drink. I want to hear more stories like that. And the forge is gonna go break over here, right? After all the pain it's caused, I'm glad to see its power used for something good. <laughs> so this part's confusing to me, right here. Holds any power over me. That line. I don't know what to do. Now that I am finally free of it, my life was so entwined with its purpose. And I did join the Guardians gone, in the other one, so let's do this one. Okay. You can do whatever your heart desires. The world is your oyster, Mantis. I don't understand your meaning, but your feelings are hopeful, genuine, encouraging. It feels good to feel these feelings. My head finally feels clear. Thank you, Peter, for all you've done. So, everything worked out in the end. <laughs> Don't you know? Everything works out for me. Shut up. You know what I mean. And this I'm is a line based of you, off Peter. of earlier. Yeah? You kept us together after all. I had many, many doubts it would happen. So many doubts. Oh, daily doubts. I honestly couldn't count them all. Oh, I had my doubts along the way too. It's okay to doubt yourself. So long as you keep going. You did. And here we all are. How about a refill? My hero. Right. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what happens when we revive Lila here. And then I'll show you what happens with Drax. And again, I really, really wish I could show you Nebula. And I bet you there's two different ways Nebula can come back. But the game won't let me. But now let's go see what happens when we revive Lila here. And one thing before we revive Lila is the thing that confused me about that line where she's like, I can finally think now, my mind is free. The part that confused me about it was how Hello? she didn't appear to be free when the forge was destroyed in episode three. So it's kind of weird that she would drop that line here now and never said anything like that before. Like, cause she always kind of seemed like she was controlled by other people's emotions. And apparently the forge breaking frees her from that, but she totally wasn't free when the forge was already broken. So I don't know. Maybe it's because Hala was still alive. That could be it. And then Hala was the forge in that other instance of reality. So that could have been what made her feel like she didn't have, you know, her own emotions and she was too influenced by everybody else. 
That's my theory. Anywho, let's see here. All right, here goes Lila. I, uh... I think we should resurrect Lila. Pete, you don't have to... I want to, Rocket. You can show her the sun anytime she likes. I am Groot. <laughs> oh, man. I'm... Now I'm feeling stuff. You, you guys. You guys are the best friends I could ask for. But don't you dare tell anyone I said that. <laughs> Take my hand. Can he even reach? I want you to think of your fondest memory of Lila. The moment when you two were happiest. This one will be interesting. I can't wait to see Lila. Uh, where am I? Hey, lady. Rocket? Rocket! I missed you so what? much. I don't understand. The last time I saw you, I was... You're free now. We both are. Huh? And nobody's gonna hurt you ever again. They're all so emotional. Forge no longer holds any power over me. I don't know what to do now that I am finally free of it. My life was so entwined with its purpose. Try this one. Gone, I feel okay. After all you've been through, you, you deserve a break. But I was trapped in that box for thousands of years. I should use this newfound time to see everything that's out there before someone tries to destroy it again. My head finally feels clear. Thank you, Peter, for all you've done. So, everything worked out in the end. That it? There's like nothing. Don't you know? Everything works out for me. Shut okay, so, I guess what we'll do- I mean, I guess I can have uh, her keep talking you know in case I mean. Lilas has something. I'm proud of you, Peter. But, yeah? this you is the ending. You kept us together, after all. I had many, huh. many doubts it would happen. So many doubts, oh. I mean, I didn't exactly do it on my own. I'll take some credit. Yeah, some. A bit. A, a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, never change, Peter. How about a refill? My hero. Yeah, so that that's it, huh? Wow, that's like there's like no dialogue there. That's crazy. Okay, so I guess I could try to see what happens if we don't use it because I want to see the reactions of the characters if we choose not to do it and we just let the forge die. But what I'm going to show you first before we do that is what I did when I was replaying through the whole thing and I chose Drax. And we could also do Drax. So let's let's do Drax. I'd like to bring Kamaria back for Drax. They can complete the warrior's path together. Peter, I... I do not know what to say, so I will just stare at you powerfully, as lovers do. <laughs> Take my hand. I want you to think of your fondest memory of Kamaria. The moment when you two were happiest. We'll do all of these in the video. I'm not sure if Nebula's one. Nebula's gotta be one, though. So I'd have to replay through everything to get Nebula. Where am I? 
Papa? Kamaria. <laughs> I thought of you every day, and every night, and all the times Papa, in between. Papa, it's okay, I'm here. You can let go of me. Never. I will never let you go again. Forge no longer holds any power over me. I don't know what to do. Now that I am finally free of it, my life was so entwined with its purpose. With it gone, I feel okay. I am no longer overwhelmed by the emotions of others. I can feel only what I want to. Feel my own emotions. For once. We could always use an empath on the team. Why don't you join the Guardians? Officially. Really? Definitely. Thank you, Peter. It will be nice to have a home instead of a box. My head finally feels... clear. Thank you, Peter. For all you've done. So, everything worked out in the end. <laughs> Don't you know? Everything works out for me. Shut up. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Peter. Yeah? You kept us together after all. I had many, many doubts it would happen. So many doubts. Oh, daily doubts. Don't you know by now? Never doubt the legendary Star-Lord. <laughs> oh, never change, Peter. It's pronounced Star-Lord. How about a refill? My hero. Interesting. Okay. Nebula totally could have been revived. There's no way that Nebula would be able to be revived if she was dead. And she might be on our team. She totally would be because the way that Kimura and Nebula kind of went out there when hey, you Nebula two died was very sentimental. When there's a toast happening. I drink this toxic liquid in honor of the galaxy. May it stay guarded. I will help guard it. I will no. fight anyone who wishes to start a fight. What about to new friends? I've never had them before. I've got a better one. To vacation. I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Family's a good one, too. Hurry Let's up, do new friends. I'm getting tired. Seeing as how Kamaria's here. To new friends. Everything's better with you guys here. You can't see it under my fur, but I am blushing. Guardians, this is the Nova Corps. We have another situation. You have to help us. You're the first ones we called. Now, where were we? Interesting. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the forge die. This is kind of weird because why would you do that? If you're gonna revive, if you have the chance to revive somebody, you may as well do it, right? We're just gonna let it die. See what happens. I, uh, I don't think we should bring anyone back. Why not? I thought this is what you wanted. Why you empowered the forge in the first place? It's not fair that only one of us gets to use the forge. If we all can't bring someone back, none of us should. I am with you, Peter. I understand. There. The forge's power has faded. Uh, is that, uh... Is that it? Seems so. I was expecting... more. I am... Um. Groot. Yeah, I thought it would, like, explode or something. Interesting. The forge no longer holds any power over me. I don't know what to do now that I am finally free of it. My life was so entwined with its purpose, 
With it gone, I feel... Okay. I am no longer overwhelmed by the emotions of others. I can feel only what I want to. Feel my own emotions. For once. Sounds nice. I guess I have plenty of time to figure it out myself. But from everyone in this room, I feel hope. Love. Happiness. It feels good to feel these feelings. My head finally feels clear. Thank you, Peter, for all you've done. So is this going to change at all, or is it going to go straight to Gamora here? So, everything hmm. worked out in the end. Straight to Gam Gam here, huh? Okay, well, this was a video for reviving people. Again, I'm so sorry that I couldn't get Nebula. I tried, and I really actually tried a bunch of different ways to get it to work, and the game just is like, nope, sorry, no Nebula for you, so you might have to look that one up. But this was a revival video for Lila, for Kamaria, for Peter's mom. I feel like I liked the Drax one the most. Because, I'm f <laughs> I don't know, if you're gonna revive somebody... Why not the kid, right? Like... Poor child didn't even have time to enjoy life. So, how could you not reunite, you know, Drax with his daughter? I don't know, and I feel like that one was the most emotionally satisfying too. And it's Drax, and Drax is just always great. <laughs> so... Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys appreciate this video. If you guys did like it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And let me know if you guys have any other ideas for other videos regarding the series. I think we might be done, though. I don't know. We'll see. So, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. And I'll see Meow. you in the next video that we do around here.